Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dave Louie, the Interim Associate Dean for the Honors College. Before we begin, I have a few start of term notices I wish to announce. First years, please note that the Forbidden Forest is strictly off limits to all students. The Senators are restless and there are some reports that there are some Longhorns milling about. You'll also note that social distancing is still in effect for the remainder of the school year. Masks are mandatory in classrooms, the potions lab, the library, essentially all campus buildings including all public spaces in the honors hall. While he who must not be named has been defeated for quite some time, we now face a new enemy, an enemy with no face. If you find yourself cursed with a COVID-19 or even exposed to someone who has tested positive, please report immediately by filling out the form and call the TTU Student Health COVID-19 line at 806-743-2911. With that out of the way, Dr. Wong, let the ceremony begin. Thank you, Dr. Louie. We all arrive at the Honors College via different routes. Some of us fly, some of us walk, some of us drive, some of us bike. Very few of us imagine that entering the Honors College will mean walking through the magical portal of Platform 9 and 3 quarters and taking an Honors Express to a land of wisdom, engagement, creativity, research, strength, ethics, and community. But that is exactly where you will arrive. What the Honors College is offering you is the four most amazing years of your life. A life of wonder, a life of curiosity, a life of exploration, a life of giving back, a life of imagination, a life where you make your own magic. Before we begin the sorting, we have a very special message from the Honors College student Lamia Zuberi. Lamia is the 2020 recipient of the Ken Kettner Will to Learn Award. This award is given to an Honors College student in their second, third, or fourth year who assume personal responsibility as an active learner in pursuit of their education, who has a genuine desire to gain understanding instead of mere erudition, memorization, or training, who demonstrates an eagerness to put hypotheses to test against reality while keeping an open mind with results, who shows interest in the unity and breadth of one's education, notwithstanding disciplinary boundaries, and who actively engages their abilities in critical and objective study of problems and issues. Endowed by Dr. Ken Kettner, who is a Paul Whitfield Horn Professor, Charles Sander Pierce Interdisciplinary Professor, and the past director of the Texas Tech Institute for Studies in Pragmatism, this award not only carries with it a monetary scholarship, but the charge to inspire our first year students to actively engage the will to learn during their time at Texas Tech University. Therefore, we invite this year's award winner, Lamia, to welcome you to the Honors Club. When you board a plane, you find the right people to sit next to. You may be anxious and excited all at the same time. You might even have a plan on how you're going to spend that flight. Then the engine starts and the flight begins to take off. There might even be turbulence. You're scared. But you should know that the people around you are well equipped and trained to help. The tools and resources are there. The plane has now passed through the clouds, and you're happy again. You're settled. You might even be listening to music. You finally have the time and avenue to think about all the ideas and notions you've always wanted to think about before. Then the plane begins to descend. You're excited and nervous all at the same time again. Those feelings come creeping back out. You know that the destination you're about to land is much different than the place that you began. You're about to step foot into the real world. Ladies, gentlemen, friends, and fellow Red Raiders, the journey that you are embarking on is no different. 
You've committed to boarding this flight and you may be anxious and excited all at the same time. There will be highs, there will be lows that make you stronger as an academic intellectual and as a human being, all to get you to your own destination. A destination that you get to cultivate. You may have dreams of being Picasso, Aristotle, Da Vinci, a leader, a shaper, a maker, a sculptor of this world. And now you have the opportunity to become an asset for this university, for this college, and this world we call our home. This is the moment you get to define who you are, who you're becoming, and the places that you will land. With that being said, I'm Lamia Zuberi, and welcome aboard to Texas Tech University and the Honors College. We hope and know that you'll enjoy your flight with us, because with knowledge, courage, service, and integrity on our side, from here, anything is possible. Thank you, Lamia. I think I may be the flight attendant on this flight, and my responsibility is to keep you all safe. So wear those masks and follow those safety protocols, and I'll offer you some pretzels and soda. Because you are not only the passengers, you are the pilots. You fly, you soar, you seek those horizons. Now, on with the sorting. You've all been sorted into four different houses. These houses are your homes. They bring you together. They bind you together in community, in aspiration, in excellence. Together is the only way we persevere, with a group of people who will nurture you, celebrate with you, laugh with you, learn with you, protect each other, wear your masks, properly social distance, cherish these houses, honor these ideas. of the House of Integrity. Your house is named for Dr. Bob Lawless, who spent 32 years as a faculty member, administrator, and university leader. As president of Texas Tech University and the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center from 1989 to 1996, he led with integrity, honesty, wisdom, and such empathy. This leadership was recognized by universities and industry alike, and Dr. Lawless brought both theoretical and applied knowledge into play in his decision-making process. It was during Dr. Lawless's tenure as president of Texas Tech that the honors program grew and flourished. Dr. Lawless lives by the adage, to thine own self be true, which perfectly fits the honors ideal of integrity and the house that bears the name Lawless. Good evening. I want to congratulate each of you for being selected for admission to the Honors College at Texas Tech University. This represents an early accomplishment in your college career. Your record indicates that you have exceptional and unlimited capabilities and potential. So again, congratulations. As you likely have learned, there are four pillars associated with the four houses to which you've been sorted. Knowledge, service, courage, and integrity. Each of the pillars is necessary for success in life, but as you might guess, since the lawless house is built on the pillar of integrity, I want to focus there. Integrity is, by definition, the practice of being honest and showing a consistent and uncompromising adherence to strong ethical and moral principles and values. In ethics, integrity is regarded as the honesty and truthfulness of accuracy of one's actions. Personally, I believe the greatest compliment that can be given to an individual is to be described as a person of integrity, and I urge you to strive to be just that. It has been said that integrity is the key to authentic leadership. It's not just a word on a poster. Integrity is leadership behavior. Thus, as you continue through your college career and become pillars of leadership in the world beyond the university, I encourage you to incorporate the foundations of knowledge, service, and courage in all that you do, 
and to become known as persons of integrity. Our country and our world need you. So again, welcome to the Honors College at Texas Tech University. Stay safe and have a great year. At the Honors College, we ask that all of you, students, faculty, and staff, stand by your principles, respect the dignity of your peers, recognize the foundations of human decency, and share in the strength of fairness, equality, and equity. We ask that you will always choose integrity when, as one headmaster put it, you must choose between what is easy and what is right. named for Dr. Jane Weiner, who began her journey at Texas Tech in 1975 as a faculty member in the Department of Psychology, where she was quickly recognized for her scholarship, teaching, and leadership, and promoted to two of the most challenging positions in higher education, the Dean of the largest college at Texas Tech, the College of Arts and Sciences, and then to the role of Interim Provost, the head of all academic affairs at the university. It was during her tenure as the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences that the Honors Program grew into a college in 1999. It is then only fitting that the Honors House of Courage is named for one of the first women in a major leadership role at Texas Tech University who was unwavering in her belief in the Honors College, Dr. Jane Weiner. To the first year students in Weiner House and all Honors College students, I welcome all of you to Texas Tech, to Honors, and to Weiner House. Unless you insist on proving me wrong, I am assuming that you are smart and fully adult and will confront head-on the contagions of coronavirus and racism that our world is suffering. I hope that the uncaring, irresponsible first-year students have enrolled in somebody else's university. Not my university, not yours, not ours. You have the opportunity to demonstrate that Texas Tech students are the best citizens and the most positive contributors to the social order, now and in the future. Have the courage to be responsible. Take this opportunity to repair the world. Thank you. Jane L. Weiner, September 11th, 2020. The Honors College asks that all of you, students, faculty, and staff, find the strength of action, the power of voice, the fortitude of character to speak up, to speak out, and to speak for those who are unvoiced or timid or shadowed. You are all the upstanders of this college. We remind you that there are all kinds of courage, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. Students of the House of Service, your house is named for Dr. Donald Harrigan, who is the epitome of the pillar of service, having served as Vice President for Academic Affairs and Research, Provost, President of Texas Tech University, and Interim Chancellor. It was as Provost of Texas Tech that Dr. Harrigan added precious new resources to the Honors Program, and it was his decision to hire Dr. Gary Bell as the Director of the Honors Program. And it was under his tenure as the President of the University that the program became instituted as the Honors College we know today. But for all the work he has done for this university, for all the ways he has changed the institution, I believe that the title he still holds most fondly in his heart is that of Professor of Honors. For his incredible work on behalf of Texas Tech and his continued support for the Honors College, the Honors House of Service bears the name Harrigan. Hello. Greetings to everyone from my daughter's backyard in Austin. I'm Don Harrigan. I want to welcome uh, each of you to the fall 2020 semester at Texas Tech. And a special welcome to the new members of Harrigan House. 
I want you to know how proud I am of you. I'm proud of your past accomplishments and I'm very proud of the fact that you've decided to join the Honors College at Tech. Certainly this is not the best of times, but neither is it the worst of times. The opportunity to learn is still here in spite of COVID-19. And not only do you have a faculty and staff dedicated to providing you with opportunities above and beyond your normal course of study, but you have a group of other motivated students with a variety of academic majors to share the learning experience with you. I remember some time ago, in fact, in 1985, I was asked by then President Laurel Cavazos to serve as the interim vice president for academic affairs. The university at that time was in a crisis, not a health crisis like the one we have today, but a crisis nevertheless. Some of the members of the Board of Regents wanted to weaken or even do away with academic tenure for the faculty. And after a very difficult period of negotiations, we were able to convince the majority of the board at least that even if tenure were eliminated, it would not be wise to be the first university to do so because recruiting top faculty and ultimately recruiting top students would become exceedingly difficult. After a period of time when a new tenure policy had been approved, uh, a well-respected faculty member came to my office one day and told me that I had really pulled the chestnuts out of the fire. I had no idea what he was talking about until I later discovered it was an expression meaning that I had succeeded in a difficult undertaking for the benefit of an individual or a group of individuals. So perhaps this is, perhaps this is what we need to be doing today in response to the COVID-19 crisis. My challenge to each of you is to set the bar high and work hard to achieve your goals. Let's make this semester the very best it can possibly be. Once again, I'm very proud of you and I'm equally proud to have my name associated with the Honors College. Congratulations and best wishes for an outstanding year. Let's all get busy and pull the chestnuts out of the fire. The Honors College asks that all of you, students, faculty, and staff, embrace the enormity of this world and recognize the ways in which our actions, our generosities, our kindnesses can affect myriad people, children, peers. We give of ourselves through time, through energy, but remember that sometimes even a simple word can change a life. Remember the words of Mother Teresa who reminded us, at the end of life, we will not be judged by how many diplomas we have received, how much money we have made, how many great things we have done. We will be judged by, I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was naked and you clothed me. I was homeless and you took me in. Students of the House of Knowledge, your house is named for Dr. Gary Bell, who served the Texas Tech community with his commitment to undergraduate education, his respect for the historical past, and the conviction that the Honors College students should be intellectually challenged both inside and outside of the classroom. In 1993, he was selected as the director of the Honors Program at Texas Tech, which at the time only had four students. With the support of President Lawless, Provost Harrigan, and Dean Weiner, Director Bell grew the program into a college and became the founding dean of the Honors College. Dean Bell established the Honors College as one of the few comprehensive Honors Colleges in the nation with its own faculty. Because of his wisdom, expansiveness of mind, and faith in the inherent intellectual curiosity of Honors students, the Honors House of Knowledge bears the name Bell. Greetings to the Bell House participants as you launch yourselves into yet another academic year. I want, first of all, to express to you the honor that it is to have you, as a group of university students, pursuing academics under that name. My second message to you is much more important. It is the reason that I founded and then pursued the honors experience both at Sam Houston State University and then at Texas Tech. To me, education is the single most important activity 
of the human race, conveying the collected wisdom of humankind to each new generation is what makes us different from my reasonably intelligent German Shepherd dog. It is what makes us human. But education is more than just memorizing lists of names and dates for the history students, or differentiating debits and credits for the accounting majors, or reading the collections of great thinkers for the philosophers. It is while conveying knowledge, teaching people to think independently, creatively, accurately, and logically. It is while in the university, the time that individuals should be taught to question the sacred three P's. The three P's are parents, preachers, and politicians. This is not to say that you should disrespect the three P's, nor fail to listen and to learn from what they have to say. It is to emphasize that this is the time in your life when you start to absorb and then evaluate knowledge on your own. This is when people, young and old, giving a nod to our more mature students, learn to think for themselves and to think critically. This is the time when you discover the art of making sound judgments based on verifiable evidence and observable facts instead of simply following the lead of someone else or relying on pre-existing prejudices. To focus upon and then to enhance this process of thinking critically is the essential mission of an honors educational experience. Thus, I developed an honors program at two schools. It was to underscore at the university the importance of the role of teaching. It was to emphasize through a variety of unusual activities, the development of critical thinking skills and intellectual independence, and the students who were most likely to embrace those ideals. It was also to provide a model for the development and future trajectory of higher education in general. Welcome to Bell House, to the TTU Honors Experience, and to a new world of intellectual growth imagination. I wish you the best of luck as you become involved in what I found to be the best and most exciting time of one's life. Gary Bell, Dean Emeritus of the Honors College. The Honors College asks that all of you, students, faculty, and staff, open your minds to ideas, to learning, to creativity, to engagement. We offer you within our college the opportunity to explore your curiosities, to change the world with wisdom and intelligence, but to retain your humility and your humanity as you illuminate the world with your dreams and your inspirations. Remember that with knowledge must come understanding, and with understanding must come empathy, and with empathy comes belonging. While each of these four houses represent the four pillars, only together with all four houses unified, knowledge, integrity, service, and courage, do we stand together proudly as the Texas Tech University Honors College. Now you've been sorted. You have been given the keys to your houses. You have been given homes to which you may find community, self, and belonging. Go forth and start your journey as a house by seeking out the magical message that awaits you. Wave your wand over your house QR code to receive an owl carrying a challenge for more house points. And welcome to the Honors Club.